Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. We're going to review a couple of value stocks now with Tracy Reinecker, our value stock strategist at Zach's.com. Rio Tinto, PLC, I mm-hmm. guess is how you'd pronounce that. Yep. Um, a recent change to their stock ticker, which is now RIO, apparently. Right, since I wrote about it and since um, this data is up on the slides, actually. Yeah. yeah, they just changed the ticker, so some of the data will take a little while to get updated in the ZAC system, but it will be updated in there. Okay, it's a mining stock. It is. It's a, one of the big global giant miners, which means they have their hands in basically everything, which is what's attractive about this company right here with the commodities basically soaring across the board. Mm-hmm. They do you know, gold, copper aluminum, energy, they're big in iron ore, um, industrial metals, just basically everything. So it, it's an interesting way to get in on the commodities. Okay. Um, you know, the stock is kind of interesting. It's uh, because it's a foreign company, it's actually based in, in Britain. Uh, the analysts usually only cover the full year. There's, I think, one analyst or something covering the quarterly, but they give they tend to give more of their information for like the half year and then the full year. And they just reported their half year results, which uh, saw earnings go up 125% over 2009. Wow. And that's mainly because, you know, again, the commodities are soaring. So if commodity prices are up, their revenue will be up. They paid down some debt already this year because of the, you know, bigger cash flow coming in. Mm-hmm. And the analysts are, you know, pretty upbeat on what's going on with this company, as you can imagine. Um, as you can see, the full year, uh, the estimates are jumping because as commodity prices go up, earnings will go up. So you're seeing a nice little jump here, especially versus last year, which was, you know, kind of you know, pretty bad for a lot of the miners, you know, just frankly, it was not good. Mm -hmm. But as you can see on the chart here, the um, big time was in 2008 when really all the commodities were soaring at the same time at like record highs with crude up, you know, at $147 a barrel. And then the stock got killed. And it's been kind of a slow climb ever since. And, you know, it's not very expensive here. It's trading about nine times. And like I said, it's a way to get in on, you know, the global commodities play because they're in on all continents, um, you know, with their minings and, you know, wherever they are getting out their resources. So it's an interesting play here. All right. Then uh, Royal Caribbean, you've written about recently, RCL, the ticker symbol. Cruise Line. Yes. This is a different... Uh, company altogether. Different industry. <laughs> um, yeah, they have 38 ships and they uh, go to like 280 ports worldwide on like six continents. I kind of chose them because it seems kind of nice to go on a cruise these days. Mm. <laughs> and apparently I'm not the only one thinking this because they are seeing a uh, return for the leisure cruisers. You know, that, that did get hurt really badly in the recession. The whole travel industry was not good in 2009. But 2010 has seen, you know, a real uptick in um, the number of yields, the people traveling on their ships, and they've been able to keep costs down, Um, you know, energy and uh, regular cost cutting that they've been doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things look up for them. They saw uh, revenue really jump in the second quarter, which was in July when they reported, and uh, it was up like 23%. They raised guidance for the full year by 10 cents, which is a good thing because, you know, last year, again, they were losing um, earnings a lot of every quarter. They were not making money, and now they're seeing, you know, uptick in that. Um, You know, so the estimates are going up because they raised the guidance. And interestingly, you know, the, the chart has done what a lot of the companies have done. It hit the low, and then it's really moved off of that. But the stock is a little bit more expensive than some of the other value stocks I cover. It's a little over 14 times. But given what's happening in the industry and that I think more, you know, the leisure travelers will continue to travel because they're only going to stay home for so long, mm-hmm. um, you know, you see kind of a good story with the, with the cruise ships right here. All right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. If you want to check out more Zach's Rank Buy Stock Pick ideas in Tracy's category, the value category, or any of the categories that we write about on Zach's.com, go to our homepage. If you're not there already, up in the upper right-hand corner is where we put four new ideas for you daily, one in each of those categories that we do write about. With Tracy Reinick, I'm Terry Ruffalo.